Hi folks and welcome to this brief overview where we're going to be talking about some of the uh, the best steps in transitioning um, your information from an existing Yammer group into a new Yammer group uh, within the, the newly formed uh, Chilton Yammer platform. So the first thing we need to remember is the information that we have will be null and void after the transition. So a lot of what we're talking about now has to be done in advance. And the first thing that we need to do is to look at both content and team members. Now, on screen at the minute, I've uh, logged in to, uh, to yammer.com. And say, for instance, I'm going to go up here, Pearson English User Group. This is a group that I administer, and therefore, when we transition across to the new platform, all of the information in here is going to be lost. So there are a series of actions that I need to, um, to take care of. The first one, and probably the most important, is to download or to, to take away a list of everyone that is currently within your group, a group member. Now, you can pre-populate a group. Um, in the new platform and I do we do have another video um, as part of this transition plan which will uh, aid you in that particular process but how do you get your list in the first place well unfortunately it's not as straightforward as just downloading a list but if you come up here to the uh, the top right hand corner you can see it's got members there and it says 87 if I go ahead and I can click that it's going to give me a pop-up screen and as you can see at the top and if I keep scrolling down that's basically my member list. Now the first thing to remember is you do have to keep scrolling down because it will refresh to give you your entire list. So in the first instance simply select your first I'm going to leave that like that. I'm going to scroll to the bottom. Then I'm going to hit the shift key on my keyboard and I'm going to continue scrolling down to the base. And that's going to basically select everyone on that particular list. And from there, I can copy and paste that into an Excel spreadsheet. Now, you are going to need the email addresses of the individuals to pre-populate the group. But in the first instance, you need to get your list from the, um, from the Yammer platform anyway before you can do any pre-population. So that's, uh, that's step one. Um, check out the other videos for steps two, three, four, five, and six, and maybe even some others. Um, but that will ensure that at the very least, when individuals move from the legacy platform to the new platform, they're, they're going to be uh, pre-populated into groups, so they're going to see very little um, uh, discontinuation of the, the kind of the, the service, the groups that we're providing.